Hey fellow travelers, welcome to Travel Moji. In today's video, together we will explore the top 10 things to do in San Diego. Before we get into the video, make sure to check out the link in the description for the best way to book a flight at the cheapest price possible. Are you a travel enthusiast? Be sure to subscribe to Travel Moji and hit the bell button to get notifications for our latest videos. San Diego is fantastic in every way, and its broad, sunny positivity stretches far beyond its 70 miles of gorgeous beaches. Around every corner and laid-back neighborhood, the city hums with culture, entertainment, food, and fun. It's a fun playground for the young and young at heart, for thrill-seekers and those who simply need to unwind. San Diego is the oldest town in California, and it is located in Southern California, not far from the Mexican border. It offers enthralling natural beauty as well as a pleasant Mediterranean climate with an abundance of sunshine, making it ideal for outdoor activities. Without further ado, put on your travel shoes and get ready to explore the top 10 things to do in San Diego. Number 10. Beaches. San Diego is ideal for a beach trip due to its year-round lovely weather and miles of stunning surf-washed coastline. Whatever you enjoy doing, San Diego's beaches provide ideal conditions for all types of activities. Mission Beach, with its bustling beachside boardwalk and sea view cafes, is ideal for sunbathing and people watching. Pet owners may let their dogs run off-leash at the appropriately called Dog Beach, which offers a dose of bohemian elegance. Surfing is San Diego's quintessential water sports and can be enjoyed at various beaches. Number nine, San Diego Museum of Art. The San Diego Museum of Art is a great place to visit if you're looking for a kick of culture. Its characteristic exterior is a replica of Salamanca's university from the 17th century in the Plateresque style with finely chiseled terracotta work. The entrance is adorned with busts of Spanish painters and their works are among the many varied displays on show. The museum's collection includes works from all around the world, including some that are over 7,000 years old. Number 8. Sunset Cliffs Natural Park. The awe-inspiring experience of a Southern California sunset will appeal to the romantics. Sunset Cliffs Natural Park, which runs for 68 acres along coastal bluffs over the Pacific Ocean, is one of the best places to visit in San Diego. The vantage point offers an unrivaled view of the ocean panoramas as the sun turns the horizon from blue to gorgeous rosy-toned hues. During the gray whale migration season, the Sunset Cliffs Natural Park is a great place to see these majestic creatures as they make their way to Baja California, Mexico. Number seven, Maritime Museum of San Diego. The museum is a collection of seafaring vessels from enormous sailing ships to old school yachts and Navy submarines that you can explore and occasionally even ride on brief voyages along downtown San Diego's Embarcadero. When it was opened in 1948, the museum focused mostly on one historic ship, the Star of India, but it now has 11 permanent exhibitions and a variety of rotating displays. The Star of India is still a fantastic spot to begin your journey. The Iron Hold sailing ship from 1863 is a state and national historic landmark, as well as the world's oldest operational ship. Number six, wine tasting in San Diego. 
Along the coast, in the mountains, in the fertile North County farmland and rugged East County terrain, lies the hidden gems of San Diego. It's wineries. Most are tiny, family-owned businesses that give tastings and tours, led by owners eager to share their knowledge of the hard work and artistry that goes into making wine. Number five, Torrey Pines State National Reserve. Torrey Pines State Natural Reserve is a wilderness oasis in a predominantly urban environment, and it is home to Pinus torreana, the country's rarest pine tree. The reserve is also a salt marsh that is home to numerous water birds, making it a very unique and fragile Southern California habitat worth visiting for its beautiful sights. This reserve is home to some of California's finest vegetation and wildlife. Number four, Point Loma and Cabrillo National Monument. Point Loma is one of the nicest sites to visit in San Diego with breathtaking views of the city and the Pacific Ocean. Cabrillo National Monument is named after the famous maritime explorer for his great work, Voyage of Discovery. The monument commemorates him with a big statue overlooking the country he discovered. The old Point Loma Lighthouse, which was completed in 1858, is also located on Point Loma. Number three, San Diego Zoo. The San Diego Zoo is one of the country's largest and most well-known zoos. One of the best things to do in San Diego with kids is to visit this family-friendly attraction. To get the most out of your stay, set aside at least a full day. There are a variety of unusual animals to see here, but the giant pandas that have been successfully nurtured here are possibly the most well-known. Gorillas, grizzly bears, koalas, leopards, Bonobos, polar bears, rhinos, and sloths are among the other popular creatures, and all of the animal enclosures are built to replicate natural environments for each species. Number two, Gas Lamp Quarter. San Diego's Gas Lamp Quarter is a beachfront community with a colorful heritage. The San Diego Gas Lamp Quarter is supposed to have gained its name from the gas lamps that lined the street of the city in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It has evolved from its early days as a red light area into a metropolis rich in history and present entertainment. The modern day gas lamp district is a popular destination for shopping, dining, and nightlife. There are over 200 restaurants, nightclubs, and music venues in the gas lamp district, as well as a variety of popular shows and local boutiques. Number one, Balboa Park. Tourists will find Balboa Park to be a one-stop wonderland. This 1,400-acre site includes historical structures, museums, gardens, and open space. The park was built during the Panama, California Exposition of 1915 to 1916, and most of the structures from that period still stand today. Spanish-style architecture predominates with low-rise structures that blend nicely with the natural environment. The Botanical Gardens and Lily Pond, the Museum of Man, the Museum of Natural History, the San Diego Museum of Art, and the famous San Diego Zoo are all attractions of the park. 